Milan. In recent days, I've been reading a lot of Wendell Berry's poetry, the Henry County farmer, the conservationist and writer. He writes so much about nature and you see just burning through his writings, his love of nature, his reverence for creation itself. And it made me remember a time that I took my grandson Tyler to see Tioga Falls. And this is just prior to the quarantine. Beside me in the car, I could feel his boundless energy. I could sense his curiosity about our destination. I enjoyed his preferred mode of communication, which is silence. We got there and hiked the muddy trail, and I sensed him slowing his own pace to accommodate his papa. The place itself feels like we're in the mountains, and then we're there. And I see him seeing the falls, and I see his desire to explore, to climb, to sense it, to drink it in. Watching him just stand, stand still, and look up. Watching him, I can feel the awe he feels. This is water, wild, untamed, free. This is water playfully laughing as it tumbles down the mountain. And a knowledge is born in me that the awe I feel and even nurture within myself is shared with Tyler. This also pulses in him. I'm in my 70s now, and so many of the things that seem to carry some unknown expiration date, a knowledge that the number of times I will feel such awe or see such beauty has some kind of unknown limit. My sadness at this thought bumps into my love for Tyler at this moment and the awe we share at this sight. And I am content. I'm content that whatever good I may pass to him is in good hands and will be held within a good heart. And I feel peace in his awe. The writer of Genesis summarized at the end of that first chapter that God saw everything that God had made, and indeed, it was very good. Highland, today, I wish you all, and I hope you sense it in another. Amen.